Hey, what's up, guys? Ricky Matega here. And I'm just uh, sorry I was having some technical difficulties with my AirPod Pros. But uh, welcome to another version of Sling Lee Media Dollars. Thank you for joining today. I have a very special friend of mine that's going to be on. His name is Anthony Calishone. Probably met him before. We'll talk about a lot of good things. All right, guys. So I'm just going to pull out the questions box. Okay. I want to make sure that everybody could hear me. Put a one in the chat box that you can hear me. Everything sounds really good. We got Donna, we got Becky, we got Joe, we got Michelle, we got Cole. What's up, Cole? We got Thomas. Okay, we got everybody. All right, cool. You can see my screen, right? Should have to keep them over in the group up. All right, awesome. So we're gonna cover some exciting topics today. Um, and we're we're basically going to go over a lot of updates and what's been happening during my trip down here in Florida. And this trip was not only to change my environment but also uh, to meet a lot of people that I'm working with in Tampa. I got to meet up with uh, Eric from Shine On yesterday. He runs the Shine On factory. Uh, I'm going to see his warehousing on Thursday. It's actually tomorrow or Friday. I'll take some, uh, do some Facebook lives and stuff like that from there. It'll be pretty damn cool to see the operation. He's grown tremendously over the past year. And we're going to be doing a lot more integration with Slingly and his platform as well. So that's on the way. It's going to be really amazing stuff. We'll keep you guys in the loop with that. Then we got some uh, agency updates, okay, things that I've been working on in the background. Uh, everything's getting put together. I have been uh, working with uh, the Groove uh, digital development team. So we've been uh, in touch every single day, figuring out the best routes and uh, getting things going. I got the graphic designers on the site already. Uh, so we're going to have assets done pretty soon. And it's going to be faster than you think. And uh, I'm, I'm also going to be creating a lot of the core training. I've been down here making, uh, you know, meeting up with the guy who was running all the traffic and just exciting stuff. So, uh, so guys, uh, how you guys doing today? Put a, put a one in the chat box if you're excited. Put a two in the chat box if you're just feeling okay. <laughs> I got a lot of people excited. <laughs> Anthony, stop being uh he said he's just feeling okay. All right, I got to get him on anyway. Just give me a second. Yeah, let me find you. All right, uh, where the hell are you? All right, go on to the attendee list. Anthony Calichon. All right, I'm going to uh, make him an organizer. All right. All right, okay, so hold on a sec. Let's make sure that Anthony's on. Ant, are you there? You're muted. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Sound oh, good. The shackles have been released, like uh, the genie at the end of Aladdin, where they like wish his like armbands off. You let me out the the bottle. This is great. That's great. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we need to put you back in a bottle. <laughs> I, I, I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, um, Anthony is a new member of the Power Initiative, um, and he's going to be adding a lot of value in there. And I told a little backstory of how I met Anthony and uh, how how far he's come in, in you know since like just short three years ago. So yeah, so Anthony's gonna talk about uh, his company, Rhino Research, how it came about. We'll talk a little bit about how basically he started, you know, uh, working in my organization. And then he just grew and grew and grew and where he's at today. And the opportunity that he just presented is is pretty crazy. Uh, Anthony is hilarious. He has such a great phone conversation. Uh, I'm, happy I'm, here to, I'm happy I'm here to amuse you. <laughs> You are. It's just straight entertainment, bro. Like, we need entertainment. That's it. So funny. I, I, love I, I, I hired Anthony just for entertainment. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, seriously. No. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it's been. Because you'll call me at, like, 3 in the morning, and you'll ask me why I'm awake while you're calling me. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, I'll, I'll call John, and I'll be like, so what do you want? And John's like, but, dude, you called me. I said, but I know you're going to call me soon and say, what do I, what, what do you need me for? So I'm like, what do you want? So I, I get it done for him. I make sure that I, I make sure that I know what he wants before he bothers me. <laughs> so I do the same thing with Anthony. I just call him up and like, yo, Ant, what's the deal, bro? He's like, did you know it's like four o'clock in the morning? I'm like, yeah, I'm up. Do you know how many times I've almost given your personal number out to the power team because they don't believe <laughs> that you call at three in the morning? So I was like, okay, cool. Here's his number. You don't, you don't want to give them my personal number because if they do, I'm no, going to be waking up at 2, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. They're going to be waking up. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that evil on anyone. I wouldn't give my worst enemy your phone number because I know what you do. 
I had to change my number because Printax, one of our manufacturers uh, that used to handle all the T-shirts, now they don't. Now it's uh, Sunfrog shirts. And let me tell you something. Like, they put my cell phone on every packing slip that went across the whole U.S. I was getting calls from every nook and cranny because it's not just us. You know, uh, our store at the time was 813T, and we had Nobody Fights Alone, and we were scaling it up, right? And then we had Slingly and a bunch of power sellers scaling their stores up at the main time. So my cell phone went out on every packing slip. <laughs> I was like, dude, I was getting calls from everywhere, like everywhere. I was like, holy crap. So anyway, all right, so let's get started, guys. Um, you know, don't want to waste uh, any time here. Thanks for being on today. Uh, for those that are just joining, just want to say that um, we got a very exciting call. Nice, good update call today. Uh, definitely things on the rise. Want to keep you informed with about the traffic deals that are on on the plate that are going to be better than freaking Facebook, as well as PR networks uh, that we're dealing with. Also, I want to talk about the agency updates, how we're working with, uh, how it's going to be on GrooveCard. I'm going to show you a little small demo store that we've been uh, messing around with the theme and template just to get it all right. And how the agency site is actually growing. And what it's kind of like, I'll show you the wireframe today. Uh, the wireframe is pretty, pretty dope. So it's, it's just going to be a, a vanilla wireframe. But like when it comes to life, you're going to be like, wow, it's amazing. And what I'm, what I'm doing with all this is that you guys, see, the beauty of being on group pages is that you guys can customize your site. So that means you can add your own pages to the site. You can modify the menu if you want to. Um, we ask that once you get a site delivered, okay, your agency site, you don't mess with certain things on it. There's gonna be specific conversion tactics in place. And if you mess with those things, okay, it can hurt your money-making ability. So we don't want you to really touch certain things. So I'm working with the developers and they have something inside of group pages, which I was pretty impressed with. It's called content blocks and they're dynamic, meaning that you just don't, you just don't mess with them. And then when we do an update, it should update your sites as well. So it's a pretty cool feature that they're rolling out and just in time for this agency stuff to, to hit the market. Uh, Rob, yes, this is all going to be recorded, 100%. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I, I always say this, keep involved, keep motivated. If you go to keepitmoving.tv, all right, I'll just drop that in the chat box really fast. It'll just bring you right to my group, and that's where you're going to get all the updates, all right? So um, sometimes we do updates on Slingly dashboard, but really not, not anymore. Uh, more or less, Slingly is an education portal. That's where you're going to log in and get all the newest content that we do and provide. Uh, but as far as like live actionable, what's going on right now, all happening in the Keep It Moving group. All right. Um, so like I'll put things in the announcement. So if you don't want to check the discussions, uh, just at least. Yes, yeah, so I think I think Rick dropped, and I think everyone can hear me. So I'll kind of just play around a little bit. So I'm super excited to be part of the Power Initiative. 
And I didn't watch Rick's uh, intro, but um, I suspect it's his uh, version of how we met, which I suspect to be fairly accurate, although Rick is one that doesn't ever allow uh, the facts to get in the way of a good story, if you know what I mean. But uh, I was helping a buddy of mine. He owned uh, a restaurant in Jackson, New Jersey. And, you know, I went to the fancy schools and the fancy background and was in behavioral science, applied hypnosis, worked on Wall Street, always was customer service, right? That's always been everything. I'm the oldest of six boys in a big Italian family, and that was always everything. So, he, you know, he goes, Ant, can you just help my staff actually understand that these aren't customers, these are guests. We're not waiters, we're hosts. We're here to, like, offer them an experience. And I was like, yeah, of course, I, I love that. You know, I never say you're welcome. It's always my pleasure, things like that. So there was this elderly lady that just finished like the chicken pot pie. And so I'm walking her to her car. And first my mother would kick my butt if I didn't, right? Like be a gentleman. And as I'm doing it, I'm talking to her about her chicken pot pie. And, you know, did she really enjoy it? And she has to come back tomorrow because we have a new special. And Rick happened to walk by me at that point. And he goes, were you just, were you just pitching this lady dinner? like like food and i started laughing i was like no i was simply just sharing awareness of our menu in fact if you're interested i think we have these amazing tomahawks tomorrow he goes anthony hey. well, he, didn't know my menu. he goes just stop rick is that you yeah sorry about that guys i don't freaking know there's always some net issue when you travel I was, I, was, I was telling them how i met you and now i was walking the lady to the car and you go did you just pitch that lady food and i was like no, I was educating her <laughs> in awareness of what our meals are for tomorrow. You know, we have these great tomahawks, and you're like, stop it right now. I need to work with you. <laughs> Yo, I mean, Anthony was just so good at, like, presentation and just, like, sincerity. <laughs> and it just, like, intrigued my interest to, like, learn more about the kid. So I yeah, ended like, up coming um, the thing down is, to the so place a couple of times. Yes, yeah, so I didn't know this lady, and I really, really cared that she enjoyed her chicken pot pie. I walked her all the way to her car, and I wanted her to come back the next day. And you look at me, and you're like, oh, my God, I need to work with you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yo, I, I needed to know this kid, like, what, what, what his deal was. Like, you know, I just, I seen that he has some incredible sales skills, and, you know, and it was, it, it was, a, it was a blessing in disguise, honestly. You know what I'm saying? So... So you know it's funny so i've gotten to the point in my career that the word sales almost kind of offends me a little bit and it's not that's not directed at you for saying it but i actually do care like like i'm a i'm an ethical actor so when it comes to things that like really can help someone and benefit them i care to be a part of that solution so when people say oh you're good at sales i'm like i'm not selling anything anyone i'm just kind of educating them on the you know a good path and they are grateful and they thank me so I don't know the definition of that, but that's just, I, it doesn't fit on a business card. So I guess sales is what goes on it, but you know. Well, I mean, whatever you want to call it, okay? Everybody yeah. that has a presentation. I mean, if you really think about it, guys, we're always in sales, whether we're talking to our spouses, whether we're talking to, um, you know, someone at Starbucks, they're, they're selling you on an upgrade or whether you're um, just in, you know, in your relationship, you're always pitching somebody, okay, oh, we should move down to Florida. Okay, I love Florida. Let's get down to Florida. But you need to pitch that. Okay, so like it doesn't matter. We're always in sales. But Rick, yeah, did I, Rick, did I ever tell you my first job? No. I, I worked wasn't. at the AMC movie theater behind the concession stand. I was the one that offered you the large popcorn for an extra quarter. <laughs> <laughs> they, actually, they actually stopped that policy because. I got offered commission for doing so. For every extra quarter, I made like five cents or something. My paychecks were more than the GM of the movie theater. So they stopped it. They're like, who is this kid making all this money? I was like, well, for a quarter, why wouldn't someone want extra popcorn? I, I feel like that's the right decision. They're like, you need to stop this right now. You are, you're on bathroom duty. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, you probably had to stop. All right, yeah. guys, so let's get up. Let's get up to the updates and what's really going on. And honestly, um, John, uh, there's John, I'm not going to name his name on here, but if um, you are too, too impatient, then you could just leave. I'm happy to just get you out this this training. I don't really care that much. I care about people who want to hear from us, and I care about people that really want, you know, want it, okay? If you're in a rush for nothing, oh well. All right, so let's go to what the updates are, all right? And we're going to go through this, um, not fast, but I just want to make sure everybody grasps this. Okay, so 
there's a lot of things at play here. And the more that you understand where we're headed, the more you understand where you're headed as long as you're following, all right? So on this side of the map, okay, we got Groove Digital. Now Groove Digital is becoming a beast, a beast beast. They got over 36 developers on their team right now, and they are pumping out software. So just because you were in Groove Digital a week ago, and maybe there was three or four bugs that annoyed you, it's probably fixed already, all right? They are in rapid development mode. So Groove Digital is building out Groove Webinar, Groove Pages, Groove Member, Groove Mail, Groove Affiliate, uh, Groove CRM, Groove, um, Groove Walk Your Dog, <laughs> Groove App, <laughs> like, groove, like Groove, like T-shirt. No, that's, that's pretty much slingy. Um, and, you know, just a lot of things that they're doing. And I know all the top developers, and they have uh, three lead developers that run the show, and I'm in touch with every one of them. Now, there's another thing at play over here, too, as well, which is very, very exciting, okay? And it's OMG, One Man Gang, Mike Long. Do you guys – put a one in the chat box if you guys know Mike Long. One Like, one in the chat box if you heard of Mike Long and One Man Gang and David Mills and – and those type of dudes. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of people. All right. So they've worked with Groove over 2020 and, you know, helped Groove grow a lot to where they are right now. Um, I'm happy that I made the uh, intro uh, uh, with Mike and, and Mike Long and, and, and Mike Fossain back in that January uh, because they weren't, they weren't talking for a number of years and I hooked them back up. So they are powerhouses at SEO. Like they just, eat sleep and drink seo all day and they you know they have big seo agencies and they rank tons of websites and they're like coming to sling leave for the pod <clears throat> okay they want pod because one thing i like to tell people we're on like we're in the beginning of a of, of a tsunami all right now to 2020 set up that tsunami we are like at the beginning of where this wave is gonna happen in the next four months. Okay, could you guys hear me? Did I lose connection? No, I hear you, you're there. All right, I just wanna make sure because things happen to drop out of nowhere. So what happens is, is that, you know, with 2020, okay, came a lot of drama and a lot of unity, a lot of, uh, segregation a lot of separation and it it formed bonds between groups and it also divided but what we're seeing here in 2021 as far as even a marketing perspective of it is that it's forming these ecosystems that are existing everywhere and i don't know if you could see it in you know your you know if you could you know see it in your communities see it in your marketing there's these little ecosystems that are growing, all right? And these are tight-knit people. So like, if you knew each other for years, you're working with them more closely. If you're part of an organization, they're joining organizations together, all right? If you are a software guy, okay, you're finding more software to connect with. You know, it's just happening, and it's happening in a more, at a more rapid pace. Even software that I have not seen updated in years, I'm logging into inter interfaces and seeing brand new things, like like uh, Zapier changed all their interfaces. Okay, Facebook is constantly evolving. Okay, they're just they're just adapting to what's going on right now. And on the TV, all we see is you know we're all in this together. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. So it's forming, and then you have the inauguration speech is talking about love and, and unity and, and all this other stuff, right? So if you really sit and think about it, if you really let that sink in and, and not be blind to it, what's happening is we're in the beginning of what we like to call the year of the personal brand, and it's a tsunami that's happening right now. Okay, and we're like right here. 
So what's going on is that these groups, whether they exist, I mean, so many people are coming online and make money online. And if you are able to tap into these ecosystems with a good product and a good service, even if it's not your own, you're going to make a shitload of money, period. Is that okay? a technical term? Yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> load of shit loads of money <laughs> i tried to find that on my calculator i didn't have the ricky version <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the ricky version i yeah. only have the ricky version all right so where does this put everybody where does this put agency where does it put uh, uh other things okay so now we got let's say we got slingley here Okay, which is just Slingly Pro. Then say we got um, Slingly Agency here. Okay, and then say we have, um, you know, Shine On here. This is Shine On. Okay, we got uh, Gear Bubble here. All right, um, and we're we're we we're getting away from Shopify completely. Like Groovecart is becoming beastly and we're setting it up in the way where you don't have to work on it you just really just need to use it and i've been working with the developers to make sure that it's pretty much better than shopify okay that's the goal so how does this work in terms of flow of money and how to make money well if you ever heard of uh, robert allen he came out with uh you know the, what's called the uh, multiple streams of income okay so multiple streams of income from many different sources now if you're in my power initiative we teach wealth concepts and we teach multiple streams but also we teach uh you know motivation the biggest the biggest thing that you know the biggest thing that we fight every day is our own mind and as long as we can control our own mind we can control our future but you need to join trainings like this where you can get a really good overview of what's happening from a 30,000 foot view. So you can either just jump on it, or if you sit there and do nothing about it, nothing's going to happen for you. Okay. So there are many people out there right now selling how to, you know, sell on Shopify. Okay. Or how to do the next print on demand thing. There's, millions of courses out there okay there is digital learning portals there's membership areas there's traffic there's everything but one thing that i've noticed and what i'm giving you know my people is the ability to capitalize off of our work because one thing when you're sitting there and you don't have the business momentum it could be very troublesome say you don't have the connections you don't have the money to build the software you don't um, have the knowledge to do it, or you come from a different type of background. Well, the normal route is, okay, we would tell you, go build an email list, go create some PDF content, get your email list built up, create a membership area, all right? Put yourself on a camera, make a couple of content videos, go post in forms, go create your own group, go uh, to Reddit, get people into your group, spend a $5 a day on like traffic, to your fan page and look why that does work and we have done that over and over and then my build your tribes framework explains how to do it even faster and it's very important a lot of people don't have the know with all or the patience to do it so what this allows me to do is use all my connections within gear bubble shine on groove digital omg okay and empower slingly so that basically everybody that's part of Slingly could be part of making that shit ton of money. Mm -hmm. And where I'm, where I'm going with this is the agency sits right here and it's going to sell this and it's going to sell this and you're right in the middle of it. Okay. So where does that leave you? You need to get traffic. Okay, you need traffic. So that's where it's my job to make the right connections and the deals that's gonna get you the right amounts of traffic. Okay, that's going to convert and make you money. But it doesn't stop where you need to hustle. You still need to hustle. 
you still like if I say this to him blue in the face, the most important skill you ever learn in internet marketing is not just copy. It's how to run traffic. That's the most important, important skill. All right. And like Julie just said, like, oh my God, on camera, scary. Okay. A lot of people just can't get over that. And it's going to stop you from doing any digital marketing courses. It's going to stop you from gone are the days where you can just give away a PDF of $47 and scale it up to the moon. People buy you. They want you. Why do you think there's droves of people that move to e-commerce? Because you don't have to be on a camera with e-commerce. You don't have to, um, you know, be a real good salesperson to sell a shirt or a mug. Okay. These stores enable you to do it. But one of the biggest things that people um, to fail at is they fail on the traffic and conversion side. But if you go into Slingly into the courses, like especially Slingly Pro members, all this stuff is like freaking gold. Okay. And if you go right over to here, I'm not sure if this is done yet, but we're breaking out the media dollar. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. So media dollars is in its own section now, so that it, it used to be just in the Slingly Academy. Um, and it was getting hidden. So media dollars now you'll have everything here. Okay. in its own, his own section that you can always find it. Uh, I'll probably have John move that up to the top somewhere around over the top over here. Okay. And then the Slingly Academy is where you're going to get, uh, you know, the card core POD training. And you know, this stuff is ridiculous. Okay. There's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, and people that are taking action will get results. And um, I hate to say this, but print on demand is not an overnight thing. It's something that needs to keep on being worked at. Something that you find your winners. Like it's so easy to look at the whole outside of everybody that's been in the business for four or five years, making a shit ton of money, and then you're sitting there being like, I just can't crack the code. Um, it just, it, it, and that's 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 what like gets people not you know not making any money so back to where the opportunity exists is that if i give you the opportunity off of all this work that i've put together to make money then becoming making money is pretty fucking simple right and the agency stuff is something that you own okay we are not going to own it just look at us as like fulfillment partners like you're fulfill we're a fulfillment partner for these sites so yeah, there's a win-win-win, of course. However, okay, it's gonna be your domain, your brand. If you build this up to something and you want to sell it to another person, you could do that. And Slingly won't get a cut of that, okay? So it's completely up to you. And if we're like over here, this this over here, right? What you think's gonna happen? This per year personal branding is gonna get monstrous and people are gonna need this even more, okay, to speak their merch, to speak their voices, to, um, you know, and the pricing model is ridiculous. Like our margins are retarded. Like people are gonna come and be like, how the hell are you even doing this for this, for this, for, for this kind of pricing? And we're not gonna tell them, all right? We're just gonna say, hey, you wanna, you wanna buy a site? Men and the poo poo. <laughs> yeah, exactly, pretty much, aha, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? But you guys will be in the know because you're joining media dollars and you're joining Slingly. So you'll have your course sheets and stuff. And me and John's been already working on all that. Like by the time you see this shit, it's gonna be so professional. You're gonna be like, holy fuck, why why did I'm not selling this for like five thousand dollars, which I probably could, but I'm not. Okay. So anyway, long story short, all right, that's on the way. So let me just show you a couple of small things. So this is just um just a small version. Okay, we've been screwing with the theme on this one. All right, this is going to be like a slider right over here. We just got one of my uh, my things on the top. And then, you know, you're going to have our products as the home page. This is, this is all group card, by the way. Okay, it's going to look something like this. You know, have your stuff on the bottom. And, um, we'll, you know, we're even cleaning up this. We want to make this even nicer. So we're working on, like, you know, getting this, like, really looking, like, almost like we had on Shopify. 
Because if you look at this, this is kind of what we had on Shopify that was converting a real lot. So, you know, we got to fix certain small things like this. I don't even know what that's about, but like just things like that. But once we, now the, the cool thing about this is that once this is done, right, it's a theme, something that we could give you. And we're screwing with different ways of, of doing the checkouts. Like there's an instant checkout way that you can do these type of things. Or there's another one over here. Uh, let me try to find another one that has the checkout on the right side. We you see you have your multiple images here. Now this is all done with Slingly, okay? You don't have to touch a button. Slingly, just you click a button, it's uploaded, all ready to go, okay? Um, there was one I had that had, oh yeah, this one right here. So, John, I don't know what happened. You must have switched something that went to that. I, I, I the cart they made a new a new bulk updater, so you could actually bulk, like bulk add all of the products to the same same kind of product page and checkout pages and stuff like that. So yeah, I was, but we wanted we wanted this one, bro. We don't want the other one. The other one is is a little clumsy. I don't like the other one. The other one's like this is where you this is where you want the button. You don't want the button all the way down here. So go bulk updated back to the other one. All right. So anyway, um, so this self-made shirt over here. Okay. Um, now think about the concepts about agency. Okay. And just really, really let this sink in. What we're establishing, and we hired about five new designers. Okay. That are freaking pretty badass. And the concept about an agency is more or less like their personal brands like they have your you know logos like this is my keep it moving logo or my power initiative logo and you can put those on mugs and shirts and dog tags and jewelry blah 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 right but there's a niche around it okay there's a niche so say like you have a brand in dog grooming and it's your brand you have a logo you have foot traffic to your store whatever the case may be okay so you want to sell mugs, you want to sell sweatshirts, you want to sell all that stuff on the cheap, but you don't know how to do it, okay? You don't want to go to a print shop and say, I need this bulk loaded and all that other crap that you normally have to do. Like I was just at this place called Mr. Uh, Mrs., uh, Mr. and Mrs. Crab over here in Florida. They got a couple, first of all, amazing, amazing seafood, okay? I gotta say it's probably one of the best seafood spots I probably have ate at in my life, but, um they had issues. They had shirts, okay, that they were giving away and they ran out of stock on a lot of them. So they just bulk load, you know, they bulk make the shirts. They tell customers, if you spend a certain amount of money, you're going to get a free merchandise. They got some concepts. And then when you go to get it, they're all given away. Like they got like shitty ones left. Well, that wouldn't happen if you had your merch store because then basically you could just give them a, a, a code and they could just go with a code and go get the shirt for free whatever they want and then done ship to the door. So there's, 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 there's ways that this is going to help a lot of people as well. All right. So what, what I'm trying to get out of here is to say you were a dog grooming, we would create shirts that fit that type of avatar, that type of niche. Okay. And that's where I'm going at here. And this is what's going to make it extremely powerful. Now, of course, to do the branding type of design concepts on top of the logos, it's going to cost more money, okay? Because it's more manpower, more more design work, and more more stuff. So the packages are going to start at two thousand dollars for that, okay? But then there's going to be niche based packages that are going to be starter type packages, all right? So that's what you guys are going to be selling on the agency stuff. Now, as far as Groove, um, this is just the back end of uh, of the of the store. As you can tell, this is all Groove cart. Very, very easy to, to work with. And I can see that they're making a lot of improvements already. Like they just they just keep moving with this, which is great. All right, yeah, they're doing a lot of improvements. So anyway, if I come over here to group pages, this is where you're going to have your site. So there, you know, a lot some questions are gonna be like, okay, do I have to get group pages platinum, which is about fourteen hundred bucks. You don't, okay? You can do this on, uh, what we're gonna set up for you if you don't have platinum or you're just on Groove for free, you, you're gonna be able to get agency site access right in, in here. 
And when you, I don't have a full site built yet, but like if you click new site, just think of it something like something like this. You're going to have like a whole website done for you. And I already confirmed that with the lead developers that once we build this all out, you're going to, you're going to just come to your, uh, we're going to give you like, I don't like, like you're going to have something like this, like a complete site. Okay. And, or my templates, and we're going to give you a link and it's like, here. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to in, inject like something like this. Okay, so it was gonna you name your site, and then it'll take every all the work that we do, and put it right in your Groove Pages account. Now, what's what's special about that is that you can map your own domain to this. It's a WYSIWYG editor, so that you could basically go in and change different things. So if I was to go over here, and let me just go edit, you know, let me just go edit this, just to show you some some uh, some of the interface stuff. All right, so over here, okay, like you have your elements, okay, which is basically your row, your columns and stuff like that. And then you have your blocks, which is basically themes and templates and empty blocks and containers and stuff like that. And it's a WYSIWYG editor, okay? So now picture that you're editing one page in your agency site here. and we add, we're going to do a specific training. We ask you not to touch specific things because you're going to have links in there that lead to checkout systems that carry your um, IDs and stuff like that. And that's how we're going to track phone sales and, and the other stuff. And if you screw that up, well, then you screw yourself on sales. And that's going to be in a disclaimer too as well. Like it just, you screw that up, well, you screwed yourself. And I can, we don't want you to do that. So we're going to do a lot of training on that. But at the end of the day, okay, you're going to be using something like this where you can simply just update stuff, but there's going to be parts of it where you can't update it. Like when you, when you go to try to click it, it's going to say uneditable. And we're going to do that on purpose because the specific conversions that we're putting in place. Another thing that I want you guys to know about the agency stuff is once you get this site, it really doesn't end there because Ricky's going to work on some more stuff for you. So what I figured out is this, and this is for people who have click funnels. I just want to build it out. Um, uh, either click funnels or groove funnels. I'm not sure what's yet, which which template system I'm using yet for it. Just to, just to design that. Probably it's probably, probably going to be all groove anyway. But what's going to do is uh, we're going to create inbound marketing. So when you get this traffic, it's going to not pitch them on uh, branding stores. It's going to pitch them an opportunity. Okay, and then when they go here, they're going to have some a video a VSL explaining why you need branding stores, why you need to do this, blah, 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 blah. And you're going to send traffic here, build your list. It's going to send them here. And then it's going to go to inside your agency, the specific pages in your agency that are going to convert them, walk them through to a sale. Now, this is where Anthony comes in a lot because one of the things that are going to differentiate us from a lot of other competitors is we have a full sales team. So there's going to be a book a call, book consult on your site. And that's where this is going to be routed to Anthony's office and a team of professionals are going to be closing them on our packages. All right. So if the site doesn't close them, we will. All right. And that's going to be rerouted. Okay. Back into the money that goes to you. So we pay you in this scenario. All right. So like there's going to be like almost like ClickBank. The check's going to be every two weeks, right? It's the first and 15th. It's going to be automatically either wired to you or um, sent to a PayPal or, um, or a check. You're going to have those kind of options. All right. All going to be tracked through GrooveSell. So GrooveSell is an affiliate platform itself. And the reason we're going to go with GrooveSell is because, again, we're working with the developers. They will make features for us, okay, as we need them. So I'm not going to say there's not going to be some, you know, quirks in the beginning. Like, you know, as far as, I'm not talking about tracking quirks, but just things that are going to be a little bit more manually than we want. 
but as it grows, it's it's going to grow. You know what I'm saying? So like it's so and I'm going to I'm going to keep you guys completely uh, updated. So Mary says, wow. Yeah. I mean, this is this is a lot of good stuff. So are you guys like understanding like where we're at right now in the process? Like just like you know, have any questions on it? Because we've been moving on this every single day. Just want to make sure that you guys are, you know, getting this and it makes it. Okay, cool. Coles, it sounds amazing. All right. So like, like our, our plans is this. We should have, I'm shooting for Feb. Okay. Feb 15th. Do have the members area training, like there so you guys have access agency site stuff is framed out okay and and uh copies being done uh almost completed okay groove cell is in place people know how to start signing up for that and um and uh what's it called and you are very very clear on the traffic stuff okay which i'll go into in a little bit but i want to let Ant get on and do a little bit of his segment too as well all right so that's my goal Right. Uh, I can't set set in stone, but I need to be here, and we're working resentlessly on on that. I mean, latest a five day dip the twentieth, but come like March, come March. All right, this is all popping off. You guys are gonna have everything. Okay, you're gonna have the ability to make money with it. The traffic deals in place. Okay, everything everything's gonna be ready for it. Uh, and this is what we're doing. Okay. This is, this is, you know, it, it's just taken us a little bit longer because we ran into, a, uh, you know, we, we can't, we ran into a couple of things as far as like, you know, some bottlenecks with the design, some figuring out what the margins and packages and plus routes of where we were going to go. Okay. Was it feasible to do on Groove Pages? Was it feasible? You know, I've been down here. I had the meetings with Groove Digital. Okay, how are we going to integrate China into this more properly so that you guys are, are doing personalized jewelry off these sites too as well? Um, and just amazing stuff that's happening. So it's just amazing. I'm going to keep on, I'm going to keep on doing updates like this, all right, just to keep you guys up to par uh, to make sure that you know that we're moving pretty, pretty damn fast. And Christine said, this is an amazing opportunity. And you're right. It's like, it, this couldn't be done if I didn't have all these connections in place. Let's say the SEO teams, the PR teams, okay, specific people like Gear Bubble and Shine On and Groove Digital and, and all those other stuff that I have in place. Okay. So five days do not matter, even four weeks at the end. I mean, guys, we're moving fast. We want this done as bad as you want it done. Okay, honestly. And we need this. Like I said, like we're here on this wave. Okay. We can't wait till it's here. We need to like we need to push. We need to be here, right here, because when all this starts getting more crazy, we're gonna capitalize like crazy off. Of it. And for those who are part of the agency, you're gonna do it. Now, the people that are still just Slingly Pro members, you still have that unique opportunity. We're we're gonna integrate more deeply into uh, Shine On. My next meeting with him tomorrow or Friday is doing that. Okay, uh, we're already integrating the Gear Bubble Pro. We're already integrating in the Groove Card. All right, so like the opportunity to sell your own merchandise and stores are not going away. That's always going to be a constant opportunity. But I wanted to give you opportunity where you can make money now and not have to do all the e-commerce shit you normally have to do. But don't stop building e-commerce. Like you'd be dumb to stop to do that. Okay, just keep at it. And like the most important things is that you're teaching yourself traffic, okay? And you eat, sleep, and drinking traffic, and you're teaching yourself research, that you're understanding hot research. And like over here, like we do this for you, okay? Like Etsy stuff, um, you know, pricing margin strategies, okay? This is the hip suasion formula, air copying and critiques, getting started with e-commerce, affiliate marketing. Okay, we do this for you in the academies, like over here and uh, where the hell I was, and over here, and they get you going 2.0, execution, operations, and processes. Like, it's right there for you. Okay, the next steps that you need to do is when you go through this, make yourself notes, make yourself execution, get used to doing it, 
Because if you want to be a full-time internet marketer like we are, it's going to take full-time dedication, full-time work, um, even more than a normal nine-to-five job, especially in the beginning. All right. So uh, go ahead, Anthony. I want, I want you to talk a little bit about what this opportunity was. And I have it over here. Okay. And, you know, this is already closed, guys. I hate to say it. But, like, this is an opportunity that you got on with Anthony. And we're projecting Slingly to be three times this by the end of 2021. And uh, if you want to explain a little bit about what the opportunity was and, uh, and, and stuff like that. I'm going to mute myself for a minute, go to the bathroom real quick, and uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, totally cool. So the opportunity, <clears throat> we went ahead and closed it. So I really actually don't want to get too much into it. But as it pertains to kind of what we're all here for, right? Like we know Slingly, we know Ricky. So let's kind of focus on that. See, Rick and I come from completely different backgrounds, right? Like Rick is an expert coder, an internet marketer, and, and is always kept like, like a geek, right? Like a total dork. He just knows computers. But he's also a cool guy, so that's why we all like him. My background has always been in sales and um, like influence and persuasion and behavioral science and stuff like that. So we always kind of wanted to work together from day one. We knew the value we could offer to each other. And the goal always was, when does the market allow us to effectively scale both of what we do the best and create something that's bigger than what anyone else could do? And we think we're there, right? So I have a different perspective of internet marketing. So I'm going to try to describe it a way that makes sense to me. Like I'm a dork. I know numbers. I know like macroeconomics, right? Um, as it pertains to internet marketing, though, it seems like if you could just imagine there's 10 people in the world, right? And these 10 people all want apples. Well, with the advent of internet marketing, you were able to find these people. So you found one. You found two. You found three. And that's what we see in terms of the different trainings for e-commerce and things that worked maybe a year or two ago that we're still kind of chasing today. But then you found four, then you found five, then you found six. And the point is with that success, everyone's now there. Everyone's on internet marketing. With COVID last year, and I guess you know still this year, you pushed even more people on internet marketing. So the scaling of the marketing side of it has gotten to a point that it's reached critical mass, right? At any given point, we found all 10 people that wanted those apples. In fact, we found them five times over. In fact, we're asking each person to buy my apple versus their apple. So with that new equation, you need a new variable. And what that variable is, is what is that differentiating factor that's going to allow a particular person to choose your product over that of someone else's? And that's what, I want to assign to what Rick is talking about in terms of people are building out ecosystems and this is the year of the personal brand because that actually is what it is. People are now saying, all right, well, I could buy this product from like 10 other people. Like, I don't need you for the product. So why don't you tell me why I should work with you? And it's kind of bringing life back to basics in terms of you buy the person, not the product. And that's now coming to internet marketing. But here's where the opportunity comes in. Because internet marketing has been on such an evolution over the last 10, 15, 20 years, you've basically put out of business telemarketers, professional salesmen, um, client service teams, because you had, you had bots, right? Like you had robocallers, you could send out 100,000 emails, you had sequences. If Mr. Jones pressed this button at this time of day, you sent him this email. And it got to such a point that you didn't need to pay a human how much money to sit there on a phone and, and learn a skill set of talking to someone. And even more so than that, with social media, like, come on, how many times do you walk past kids and just actually have this? How many times have you walked past a restaurant and seen two people on a date while sitting there texting on their phones? Like, are you texting each other? I don't actually understand what you're doing. The point is, you now have a generation that doesn't even know how to communicate. That, that's a skill set that's a luxury, not a necessity. It's just because that's the way they grew up. In fact, have you seen this millennial generation? I would never paint anyone with such a broad brush, but from what I understand, they're a little sensitive. They don't like being told no, um, and they don't exactly like uh, 
like back in my day, right? Like I was a rhino, you know, you run against a wall and you fall and you get back up and you go and you go and you go. I kind of feel like if they fall once, they're like, mom, I don't like this. I don't want to do it anymore. So you have a whole market that, that is not qualified to offer any type of client service. So the opportunity that Rick and I have now come across was, and this is the time, like HM marketing has scaled to critical mass that if we could differentiate ourselves, we could take such a large share of the market because it doesn't matter how you got to the party, you're there, we're all there. So the person that's going to be able to differentiate, say, hey, my product, come over here, if it, all things being equal, right? You get five offers, product one, two, three, four, five, they're identical, but product five has a client service team, a book a call function, somebody that you could talk to that'll educate you, hold your hand and walk you over the finish line. And if you need anything, they're readily available. Which product do you pick? And the obvious answer is you pick product five because now you have that extra variable. And that's what Rick essentially did. That's what the agency is. Everything's done for you, but instead of allowing your prospect only two options, buy the product or X the page out, now they're a third option. Would you like to learn more? And here's the thing, if you like me, the only people that are gonna be taking those phone calls is me and duplicates of me. This isn't me calling the Philippines saying, give me 13 of your best hourly workers. No, this is rolling up your sleeves, hiring people, training them, eating with them, sleeping with them, breathing with them, touch, taste. Well, I don't think you could do any of that stuff. That kind of sounds weird. But the point is, <laughs> I'm not going to touch or taste my employees, I promise you. But we're all going to be in that. And, and we're going to hire the first rung of people. And I remember I used to work this sales position. It was called Green Impulse Marketing. And it was the guys that went to the Sands Club and sold your windows and siding. And I kicked butt. I sold the most of anyone. And I would come back to the office and I would jump up and down. And to this day, I still remember what my boss said to me. He goes, Anthony, you're never going to be better than anyone else. And I go, what are you talking about? I've got the best numbers. He goes, you're too selfish. You don't know how to train other people. You're just working for yourself, which means your heights are only going to be what you could do personally. You need to learn to duplicate yourself and then allow those people to duplicate themselves. So essentially, one person equals 100. And that's always stuck with me and I've always grown my businesses that way. So if you like me, you're going to have an army of a hundred of me that are going to get on the phone with your clients, your prospects in this agency format. And if you could be part of a done for you agency with a back end team that nobody else has and you're first to market, that's what our belief in the agency product was. And that was the opportunity that Rick had offered. He goes, Amp, I want to go ahead and do an outreach and allow people to be part of the growth that we're going to do. And I said, Rick, I have a company, I have other clients too. Let's do it together. And I got to tell you, I've spoken to 70 people. 70 people have said yes, because this isn't uh, something that's difficult to, to see. We're here. We have access to it. We have all the people. Let's move forward. So I'm pumped. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is why this is why in Anthony's apartment there's no like you can't open a window. <laughs> we don't want we don't want him to actually run out of run out a window. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I I I've Rick, I've spoken to a lot of your people and my phone call has dropped a couple of times because like of course my apartment's too cool for school, like I got the concrete floor, concrete ceiling, <laughs> but I'm held hostage to AT and T Wi Fi because I don't even have windows that open. So it's a good thing that I don't have windows that open because I would just be like, let's go. <laughs> so look, right now, this opportunity is closed and it's solely because we just can't take more people right now. It's like, that's really that simple. It's just that it's, simple. It's, 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 it's not even scarcity. It's not even like a, like a marketing ploy. Like we just can't you know take more funny? people. You know, you, know, you know what's funny, Rick? We've gotten to the point that we are such real genuine people doing yeah. real good for people that we actually have a scarce product without pretending it is like it's gone <laughs> there's no there's no pretending in my organization re at all i'm very yeah. transparent about what's going on i'll well, tell you good. the deals i have on the table i'll tell you who i'm working with you can make the you know you guys can make the executive decision if you want to be part of it or not either way we're moving forward regardless you know so it's it's just i just think that this is just a great 
you know, situation to be in, um, you know, for, for everybody that wants to really be involved. We will let you know when they're, when, when it's, it's basically Anthony's thing. Um, he's managing it all. He's going to be doing uh, monthly commentaries, dividend checks, and we're, and I'm helping him um, work with his, his other partners too as well and scale those up. So uh, it's, it's, it's a powerhouse, okay? Well, and, um, we're, we're inexplicably tied to the success of Slingly. And everyone that I've spoken to, I tell them, I go, yeah, I just got off the phone with Rick at 4 a.m. Like, we're family. I babysat Rick's children. And the no. only person who doesn't like me babysitting them is his wife because I have competitions with them who eat the most ice cream without puking. And it's not my fault. <laughs> I always win. Right? Like, they just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um. Let's not make them puke, though. <laughs> then, they, then they then they cry for a day. Well, that's why I'm not allowed to babysit anymore. But the point is, we're family. <laughs> no doubt. No, that's hundred percent right. Like you know, when we hire people onto the team, like you, we we tell them straight up, this ain't no corporate. One of the things you know, Mike Fulsain said to me a long time ago when I first, well, you know, when I first started working for him in his office, he's like, one thing you don't understand. He said, we're not corporate. I hate corporate. I'll never be corporate. He says, we run things as a family. We know everybody for, you know, for years. I mean, Joe Jablonski is his, like, is, um, you know, I mean, Mike Fosame is Joe Jablonski's uh, kid's, uh, you know, uh, fo uh, what do you call godfather. Like, they know each other from back in the car dealership days when they used to work together selling Toyotas. You know, it's that type of shit. Like, I know Anthony now for what about four and some half years and he already feel, I already feel like I know Anthony for like 30 years I know John Gadash since third grade you know what I'm saying your so con your contact photo on my phone is still us wearing uh old western hat <laughs> on a marketer's cruise together so like yeah that's, that's, that was a cool organization you run to your credit now there's one more thing guys I'm gonna cover here um not gonna pitch you on anything but in case you missed it um, I'm part of something called uh, Body Reset, and I paid a lot of money for it, um, but I'm getting personal, personal coaching. Uh, so, like, it's, it's, this is not personal coaching, but it's by a dude, his name is uh, Chris Winters. Um, he's a very inspirational guy. He helps a lot of people with getting rid of weight problems and, and really just keeping it off. He has loads of success stories. I mean, you could just see it here. People that just joined before and now what they look like. And they, and it's not like just like losing weight. It's like how to actually keep it off. Like, and, and, and like eat whatever you want, honestly. And, but it's not only just that, like it go, it coincides with the power initiative stuff. Like it, it like, you know, he goes into tracking metrics and a lot of good stuff. And he gives you a bunch of bonuses, blah, 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 blah. All right. And one of my bonuses is that if you're taking his stuff seriously, then you're going to take my stuff seriously. So I'll give you a chance to get into the, the uh, power initiative, which, by the way, is kicking off like ridiculously. So it's like, I don't know, a hundred something dollars. Like, let me just click this link. I don't even freaking know how much it was. It was like, yeah, look like one hundred and fifty nine dollars. OK, for a year access. So like it's not a lot of money. OK, if you really want something that's going to help you, like yeah, learn how to end sugar cravings over the shoulder, you know, uh, you know, pretty much gym stuff he does, uh, how he does his cooking and stuff like that. He has a really good Facebook group um, and, you know, it's not for everybody, but I'll just I'll just throw it out there. It's like 100 bucks if you guys want it. I was going to put this in the power initiative the other day, but honestly, I was just really too busy. OK, so I'll just put this in the chat box. If you guys want, you know, want it, it's not really like a pitch, but it's something that will help you a lot. Um, you know, I made a video and you can see in this video, if you get down to like, I think right here, let me just see. Like two minutes in, this story of this lady here, Carol, she was uh, alcoholic, really bad place of a life. And like this 10 minutes that you could watch right here is so inspirational and to see like the transformation she, she had by, you know, trusting in body reset and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, Chris usually sells this on webinars for like 497 or 997. 
But I said, dude, so I'm already part of your stuff. So my people are probably going to want it. Give me the best price you can do. So that's what he did. It was like 150 bucks or whatever. So up to you if you guys want it. Okay, I make a little small change on that. Uh, nothing, nothing big, nothing crazy. All right, so um, I hope that like you guys get this update call. I put it in the, in the thing. I mean, you understand everything that we're doing and all the assets that are happening. So Slingly Pro is going to keep moving forward on the path that Slingly does. Teach people how to become print-on-demand professionals, run on multiple different platforms, diversify income. It's a long-term process, a long-term strategy. Uh, John, John Gadash has been uh, in touch with manufacturers across the U.S., even in the U.K., and we're making deals with them as well. Not only better products, but also um, also stuff that like you know that can be shipped out internationally, not from the U.S., so that the margins increase for international shipping. Um, and then the agencies built on top of Slingly and on top of GrooveCart and on top of Groove Digital, so you got the best of like you know hosting platforms and multi-million dollar operational stuff. So it's it's really exciting shit. So um, all right, cool. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this call too long. We'd like to keep this like an hour so that um, you know, people can watch the replay and not be like sitting there for two hours. So any kind of questions um on anything? Andy just said uh, I already joined Chris's program a month ago. Great stuff. Yeah, it is. It's really good shit. Is the agency going to reopen? Um, yes, it will reopen. Um, sometime late February it's gonna, it's gonna open. By that time, all the assets are gonna be in place, all the training will be in place, uh, sites are being are be, being created and stuff like that. All right, uh, when they just set up support at slingly.com. Okay, awesome, Ricky, thank you. Can't wait until February for the agency launch, no doubt. This is going to be so sick. Uh, Russ Brown asked you a question, Anthony. I don't know if you want to answer that or you want to just have him private. Hit you up no, support. I'll, I'll answer it, but where is it? Uh, look for Russ Brown. It's up uh, It's up a little bit. Oh, and questions. Yeah, and then to go into questions. I'm going through some of There's a lot of questions that were coming in and I didn't. I was, I've been talking, so. I, oh. I need an email responder. Uh, Anna. Uh, Groove Mail should be done uh, by the time we have all agency up. They're working relentlessly on Groove on Groove Mail, so you'll have an autoresponder built right in into Groove uh, Groove's platform. So don't even worry about that yet. Um, uh, Mary said, "So excited, my birthday present! Thank you, Anthony. This is totally going to be amazing." And Ricky Ops oh, got my all names mixed up. <laughs> Uh, trying to see what else. New to Slingly Agency on what traffic training should I focus on? I mean, honestly, okay, we're going to be teaching SEO strategy. We're going to be teaching uh, free traffic strategies like we, we normally teach for POD, but like just how you can use it for agency. We're going to be teaching funneling strategies teaching um you know uh email marketing strategies a lot of email marketing uh and 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 i got traffic partners that are built on top of email marketing which is uh pretty amazing stuff so i'm, I'm gonna have to have another call you know what i'm gonna do guys i'm probably just gonna have another call just on traffic okay because it's just that important um is mediadollars.com not clear with agency this is media-dollars.com is just basically slingly media dollars it's what we get on every week on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we either do hardcore marketing training or we give you amazing updates like we did today. Um, awesome. Cool. All right. So if there anything else, Anthony, you may want to say before we close out? Uh, I'm, I'm going through the Power Initiative because I keep getting these updates uh, for notifications of how friendly and welcoming everyone is. And I'm seeing so many names that I was just like speaking to even as early as this morning. And it's so cool. Like it's such an amazing group of like-minded like go-getters and I'm just excited to be a part of it. So let's go, 2021, we're gonna kick some butt. Yeah, 100%. And just to answer, uh, Nico's question is it possible to do bulk selling for t-shirts and merch for clients? 
yes, it's just not going to be like per se, click a button on the site. We have to work out those deals with our specific vendors, whether it be jewelry or different types of quality materials or what it is. Um, so those are going to be something that are side deals type of things. You work with us and our team will get it done kind of things. Uh, all right. This is recorded. Okay. So uh, we'll get it up in. Okay. So just so you know where to find the recording. All right. So number one is going to be in the announcements of keep it moving. Okay. So I'll just drop here. Okay. It's going to replace, it's going to replace the other one. So like right here, we have, we have this one up, which was the 13th. Okay. When we ran this and basically it's here in the announcements. What's going to happen, today's recordings is going to come into the announcements, and this one is going to be moved into uh, Slingly Academy or Sl Access Your Courses. You'll see a media dollar section, and then you'll find the other ones here. So you can always find the replays inside of Slingly itself, all right? However, um, the newest one will always be in the announcements, which we'll get done, okay? Um, I already have a general Groovestar website. Do I need another site for agency? No, not at all. Okay. We're going to, I think people are getting a little bit confused with what the agency site is versus what the groove cart site is. And I know it could be a little bit confusing. So let me just clear that up really fast. All right. Agency is going to, is being built on groove pages. Okay. It's a full site. Okay. Full site with all the bells and whistles that an agency site would have, okay? All done for you, all auto-fulfilled. Groove Cart is where we're gonna be building the merch stores on, okay? The merch stores are going over here. So do you need Groove Platinum in order to do the agency site? No, you can use Groove Free, okay? I already confirmed this with the developers. Okay, so you can literally run the agency 100% free, all right, um, without having to upgrade Groove. Now, if, if you if you do upgrade Groove, there's benefits to it, but you don't need to immediately. Okay, Groove Cart is basically the merchandise store, all right. So that's what's being built and how that's how that's, how that's being fulfilled. So it's completely different. If you have a current Groove Cart store right now and that's connected to Slingly Pro, then you're just doing normal e-commerce like we teach, okay? Basically, use Slingly Pro, upload product to GrooveCart, get traffic to it, test you for your winners, scale them up. Basic concept, okay, that we teach all the time. But the agency offers the opportunity, okay, to capitalize on everybody else that wants to do this as well, okay? All right, awesome, guys. All right, so I'm going to get going. I got some uh, more work to complete, but uh, thanks, Anthony, for being on today. Uh, really good call. I appreciate every one of you. And as always, keep it moving and go into their groups. Make sure you're checking on the latest announcements. And uh, I'll let you uh, uh, know more updates in uh, 40 Power Initiative, second round as well. And uh, I got a lot of applications to go through. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for being here. I will check you next week on Slingly Media Dollars. And you'll find some more video updates from me in these groups. All right. Take care, guys. Later. Thanks again. Bye.